Jay Shum here with Amio Wheels, and today I'm going to take a few minutes of your time to talk about all of the wheels in our lineup. Before I get into everything, if you're looking for just specs on the wheels, I'm not going to talk about that. You can find that at, on our website, amiowheels.com, or on any online skate shop. So, without further ado, what I'm going to talk about is the Merkaba. This wheel is, this one's blue, but they are now white. For starters, this wheel is incredibly durable. I have had sets last me about four months of continuous skating. They work really well on all types of pavement. They work for hands down slides or stand up slides very well. Though they do have a square lip, that lip does allow for a good amount of grip. This is my do it all wheel. When I don't know what I'm going to be skating, I grab the Merkabas because they have the lip to slow me down, they have a good amount of stopping power, they have a very good ear of things, so they're pretty slippery, they have a really smooth slide, and they really allow me to maneuver through turns very well. They can grip, and they can slip, and they feel awesome, and I really recommend this wheel. As I said, it's super durable. This is really good if you're looking to get into downhill, or if you're an experienced downhiller who's just looking to have a little more fun when you skate super fast hills. I have ridden multiple sets of these wheels. I have ridden the blues, and I have ridden the whites. Personally, I like the whites a little more. They have this outstanding core, which is awesome. It supports the urethane very well. It prevents it from deforming, flat spotting, ovaling, any and all that, you're good because of this core. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the Muck. The first wheel I ever rode from Amio. It has a round lip, and it has that same core the Merkabas have. It is the same durometer, and it's awesome. This wheel is incredibly consistent. It does not deform because of that core. I have ridden this wheel in Australia, California, Colorado and I have never not had fun on a set of Mukti. This is my go-to wheel for Giant Head. This is my absolute go-to free ride wheel. When I know I'm gonna be free riding for the day, when I know I'm gonna need to do some big slides into corners, this is what I will skate. It takes corners very well, it can take straights, it can do big slides. You're gonna have a ton of control in your slide. You're gonna be able to skate switch, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want with this wheel. I have ridden this wheel almost exclusively on Giant's Head just because it feels this wheel does not leave a lot of fain, but that's okay. It lasts quite some time. Not quite as long as the Merkabas, but this wheel does last a good amount of time and it feels good. This wheel is very good from the stone ground finish all the way to the core. Slides perfectly and it just does all the jobs very well. Next up I'm going to talk about the Akasha. This is a downhill inset wheel and it rocks. I love this wheel. This is the first set I have ever ridden. I have no footage on these, but so far I've found they're really durable and really consistent. They are really good for hands down, and when you're going fast enough, you can throw a squatter with these. The inset core really allows for an extra little bit of grip and snap. This is probably my go-to wheel when I know I'm gonna be downhilling for a day, but I can also pick a hand up at times. This core really supports the urethane very well. One thing I noticed about this wheel that I really like is it broke in super fast. The skin was gone in no time and it didn't have that kind of frustrating lip feeling a lot of downhill wheels have where they chatter for a while. They feel really smooth right away and I can see myself riding this wheel a lot more than I already do. However, this wheel comes in a second edition, which is center set, and it is five millimeters narrower. This is the Akasha Freeride, and it is amazing. This is probably my favorite wheel from Amio. I have ridden multiple sets of these. This wheel does everything. It can grip, it can slip, put your hand down, you can keep your hand up, whatever you want. This wheel kills it for fast free ride and you also don't need to go that fast for them to feel good. This one has a stone ground finish as opposed to the regular Akashas. The regular Akashas have skin, however, it's a really good skin, doesn't feel too chattery, doesn't feel too slippery, not too grippy, none of that. Whereas the free ride comes with this good stone grounding. The Akasha free ride has the same core, it's the same wheel, just five millimeters narrower. I highly recommend these if you are working on your downhill skills and really trying to dial your lines. It's incredibly forgiving, just as well as the regular Akasha, just this one is going to slide a little more. With a regular Akasha, just has a little more stopping power. The Freeride will be more Freeride-y, as suggested in the name. 
Next up, I'm going to talk about the Prana V2. This is the second edition of the Prana. The first one was the same navy blue the Merkaba are in. However, this one is now purple with a green core. This wheel comes with skin. The skin does take a while to get off. This is kind of our premier race wheel. It races greatly. It really holds a lot of exit speed, which is awesome. It has enough rebound, enough snap, and it feels and kicks out like a free ride wheel, which I really, really like. The roll speed with the Piranhas is really good. They roll really fast. They go into drifts very well. I can really trust this wheel. They feel really good, even on blacktop, which is super rare for downhill wheels. Usually they're chattering on super smooth pavement, but this wheel works really well on all pavements. The wheel you've probably been waiting to hear me talk about the most is next up, and it is Vibes. Vibes are awesome. They have this really cool aqua thane, which is incredibly consistent. It is almost translucent, but not completely. It leaves a lot of thane. I don't even have to see the corner. I've ridden these on a lot of types of hills, and they're really good for doing big slides. They're really good for quickly snapping in and out of corners. They do a lot, and they do a lot very, very well. They core absolutely beautifully. I have no fresh sets of these because I've ridden so many of them and ridden them all to the core. This wheel makes me very happy. This is a very good feeling free ride wheel. It just has all of the properties I like in a free ride wheel. This is my go-to for a day of filming or when I know I'm gonna be sliding around a lot of corners and doing big slides. This wheel does not slide incredibly far and it is not too slidey, though it is 84A, do not let that deceive you. It feels a lot more like an 80 or 82A wheel. The vibes were so good that we just had to make a 70mm version of the higher vibes. This wheel is the same thing, it is also center set. Before you think about how the core won't be able to support more urethane, the higher vibes do have a more supportive core to support the taller wheel. They feel just like Vibes, they last longer, and they leave even thicker lines. This wheel is incredibly fun, it paints lines, it's incredibly consistent. I recommend the higher Vibes for anyone who is really trying to enhance their free ride or really just trying to have as much fun as I do because I have a lot of fun and I have ridden multiple sets of the higher Vibes and can confirm they are just as sick as the regular Vibes. And that'll be it for me talking about Amio Wheels today. Check everything out at AmioWheels.com. Pick up a set today.